YouTube, what is going on? Did you know that you can change or choose the stadium that you're battling when you're playing online? This is awesome. Let me show you guys how to do this. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. Well, if you didn't know the history of Pokemon, um, you've actually, whenever you play online, you've always had to play on a very generic arena, right? It's always been this bland, very neutral arena that wasn't ever like uh, specific to any type or a stadium in general. Um, in fact, you could never really play on the battlefields that you would play on inside of the story, right? The uh, outside in the battlefields, and so, etc. So, for example, in X and Y, this is what that looked like, and then we have the um, Sun and Moon era, which is Gen 7, and that's how that looked like. It was, a, you know, just a very generic, always the same arena. But now, you can actually change the stadium that you're playing in. Uh, well, kind of. Um, let me let me get into that. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> the this can be changed at will. But uh, there's two factors to make this uh, come into play. So basically, if you have a league card with a specific background or the profile icon that matches the gym, it will give you a 50% chance of having that battle stadium that corresponds with your league card or your icon. Um, so if both players have the same background or icon, then this makes it 100% guaranteed, right? So um, the icons are the ones when you are playing online. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. So these are the icons, right? The only ones that are going to matter are the Champion Cup, which takes you to the Winden Stadium, and then all the other subsequent uh, icons, right? So let's say I like the ice gym. I'll leave the ice gym icon on my account. It's set on my profile, right? There we go. That's selected. So now I have a 50% chance of getting the um, the ice gym on whenever I go online to battle. This will also be true if... Um, my opponent also has the ice icon or the ice profile. Um, in fact, let me go back and show you the profile, um, which would be your league card, basically. Um, by the way, what do you guys think of my Ash cosplay? I think I did pretty good. Uh, the green gloves and uh, black shirt, black shoes. The jacket really matches with Ash's. Uh, <laughs> um, so we got to go into the league card editor, right? here on the PC. So you have to use the card maker. Let's make a new league card from scratch just to kind of see what this would look like. And by the way, guys, the effects do not stack. So um, let's say if you add the ice gym icon and then you add the ice league card, they will not guarantee it 100%. Unfortunately, it does not stack that way. Um, so that way you can really just uh, pick or choose one or the other, right? You can just choose the icon or choose the league card. Um, what this will do is basically it gives you two choices at 50%, right? Um, so that way you're battling on the gyms that you like the most. Um, so let's do the background. So we could do this one. This will guarantee, or not guarantee, this will give us a 50% chance for the Grass Gym. And now, the effects aren't really going to matter, but let's have some fun with it. Uh, let's see. This is new. I feel like this is new. I've, I don't remember seeing this before. Yeah. Let's do... Something like this. Let's do a frame like this, and then we'll do a close-up shot. How about that? We'll change the pose a little bit. Okay. I like that pose a little bit. Now we can zoom in a little bit, right? 
Move it a little. And there we go, guys. So we're going to do a coating. Let's do checkered, but it looks cool. So there we go, guys. We'll have a 50% chance of getting the grass gym, right? So that would be the turf field city gym that would give us this stadium 50% chance. Or um, we will also have a 50% chance of the ice gym. Um, so basically... We have 50% chance of either or, and if our opponent has any of these icons or matching card, uh, then you'll have a 100% chance to match that with it. So that's how you do that, guys. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature that wasn't really advertised or they didn't really tell us about it. So uh, a little strange that Nintendo would keep something so cool under the wraps, but uh, Regardless, it was found in the code of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, so anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. We're growing here on the channel almost to 300 subscribers. I really do appreciate everybody. I do read all your comments. You guys are fantastic. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.